Hi, this is James. And this is Tina. Welcome to Whatever Topics. Where we'll be talking about anything. Whatever pops into our heads going to pop out of our mouth. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey, Tina. Hello. Hey, everybody out there who's listening. I ain't worried about the rest of the people. Hey. <laughs> Hey, uh, welcome to episode 13 on uh, Whatever Topics. Today we do have a few things that are going on. So, uh, and this is Independence Day 2020, 4th of July. Whoopee! Happy July! Uh huh. The 4th. Ain't like it used to be. No, not at all. I remember. I remember parades and people going around with them little poppers, almost like a birthday party, you know. A big birthday party. And now, you know, and and grilling out and remembering the military and all that stuff, you know, the independence, what it stood for and everything. I bet people today don't, half the people don't know what Independence Day stands for. They have no idea. It's It's a day off of work. If they had to work on a Saturday. It's a day for them to drink and party and barbecue. That's drink, it. Drink, party, barbecue. Yeah, that's that's it. You know, hey, we got another holiday coming up. Go get some beer. Yep. Yeah, that's too bad. You know, I mean, people shooting fireworks off at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning a week before. <laughs> They've and, been doing that all week. <laughs> and a week after. Wow. You know, do it. Do it. Um, Call it quits about 10 o'clock at least, you know, let somebody get some sleep. Well, the 4th of July, you expect 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, but that, not for the week before and the week after. Yeah, for that day. And I, 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 the, their law here in Ohio is trying to change. It's illegal to shoot fireworks here right now, except for the little kitty stuff, you know, like the little poppers and the sparklers and things like that what you could buy at Walmart you know and they're going to try to make it to where you can shoot fireworks anytime anywhere and we thought well that's not going to work because I'll be shooting them 365 days a year but then I got to thinking no these people got to pay the rent sometime yeah they got to save that money up to buy it for just the fourth yeah so uh, the neighbor came over well we seen the neighbor in the yard a couple of days ago and was letting us know that they was going to have a party over there and that's okay you know and they want to know you know how late should they be out you know making noise and stuff to you know it wouldn't bother us I said 7 o'clock boy the look on that lady's face was outrageous yeah it was so anyway we she said that they was going to probably start fireworks about 11 and wanted to know if uh, 1 o'clock would be too late. It's funny, I, real considerate that they even asked, you yeah, know. Yeah, we'll see see how it goes, though. Yeah, we will. But anyway, I told her, I says, well, you know, 2 o'clock's not bad either, you know. I mean, what, what else? You know, it's 4th of July. Right. So, party, you know. Have fun. Get it out of your system because I don't want to hear it for another week. No <laughs> I didn't tell her that, but, oh, uh, boy, but, you know, people right next door shooting fireworks out there, and the big ones, you know, they're shooting them commercial fireworks. I don't know where they're getting wow, at. Booms. Wow. Anyway, um, that, that's that's what's going on with the 4th of July, but we're, we're not celebrating, we're not even going anywhere, to you know, like to the store or anywhere, because... All these idiots out there. And, and speaking of idiots, I think Tina's got a few things about some idiots. Stupidity in motion. Okay, first one. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Students are purposely throwing COVID parties. They're inviting people who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 to attend the parties and they've got this pot going you put your money in it you know and whoever catches COVID first gets the pot (laughs) now okay you catch COVID and that stuff hits you as hard as it's hitting some people 
that little bitty pot of money ain't gonna pay your medical bills. No, no. I mean, what is, what is it? Is it millennials? Is yeah, it? it's the Alabama and students. It, and millennials come from our generation. Don't stupid, they? stupid people. I'm sorry. Was there too many of our generation on drugs? I, I don't know. Passed something's, it on. Something has scrambled these people's brains that they just have no common sense. Don't know how to think. They're, people are crazy. What can I say? People are crazy. That's like Florida. Yeah, Florida opened up their beaches, but then they closed the Fourth of July fireworks. Well, what was the point and, in that? And the, the fireworks are on the beach. Yeah. So. You've got all these people on the beach spreading COVID, and then all of a sudden, oh, well, we can't have fireworks. Um, how many people have you already infected with COVID because you were on the beach with hundreds of people anyway? Yeah, it, it wouldn't do much good, because remember when that uh, flesh-eating bacteria came out? Oh, and that they closed was nasty. The, closed the beaches down and everything, and people still getting out there in the water. Yeah, and they even had a few people die from that. Yeah. And, and people just, they, they've got this... It's not going to happen to me complex. Right. Or, they, or I can beat it, no big deal. They know? think that you had to have an open cut or sore, sore or something, you know, to get that. And But they, the ones that got it found out different. Yeah, crazy, crazy people. And stuff start eating your toes off and you're going to be in trouble because, well, like now, these little piggies stay home. Yeah. Well, what about the people that don't have no more little piggies anymore? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, for our second story, <clears throat> more fun in motion, temper tantrum throwing women. Okay? Now, in some places, it's not recommended. It's actually mandatory that you wear masks in public places. Well, this one woman goes into a public place where it is mandatory to wear one. One of the people, the employees, seen her and told her, you know, ma'am, you have to wear a mask in here. What does she do? This woman walks to the front of her basket. Now, mind you, her basket's like three-fourths full. Grabs a loaf of bread, throws it on the floor, along with the F-bomb. Throws something else on the floor, along with the F-bomb. Everything she threw on the floor was with the F-bomb. Okay. So, here we are throwing all this stuff all over the floor, having fits, screaming at these people like a complete lunatic. Then she walks out of the store screaming the whole way out the door because they asked her to wear a mask. Okay? Second lady, what, she was about in her 60s, goes into a Costco. Mandatory there. Ma'am, you have to wear a mask. And the, the employee never got nasty with her or anything. She starts throwing a fit and screaming. You're not going to make me wear a mask. I don't have to. Nah, 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 nah. And the employee's okay, you know, if you don't want to wear a mask, you need to come back another time. This 60-something-year-old woman sits her butt down on the floor in Costco. Okay, there's two. <laughs> so, you know, what do you say? Well, you got that picture of uh, the kids... Uh, that was that you see in the grocery stores, you know, back when that was screaming and carrying, kicking, and yeah. parents didn't do anything about it. You found them kids. You they're know, grown after, up they're now. They're grown up now. You know, all I can say is, and I'm not usually mean, but instead of, if you don't want to wear a mask, find somebody that will go to the store for you, do their shopping, that is willing to wear one. If you can't do that, you know what? You don't need groceries. So all I can say, honestly... Is ladies, put on your big girl, big girl panties, quit your whining and temper tro- throwing, and just grow up. Then mostly it's the women. And it is. It's the women. Grow up. I don't have anything against women. I got one of my own, but, you know, uh, when it comes to them kind of women, I try to stay away from it. You know? As they say, suck it up, cupcake. Who wants a screaming, crying, whining baby woman? Oh, my God. I'm a, you know, these women make me ashamed. I, I don't understand. You have two-year-olds that act better in public than these women are acting. Yeah. So, like I said, put your big girl panties on and suck it up, cupcake. 
Oh my word, if it's mandatory, you do it. If it's not mandatory and you don't want to wear one, you know what, that's on you. But then you see all these people out there driving that car down the road with their windows up, air conditioner on. And their mask on. And they're wearing a mask. You know the ones I find the funniest when people when it comes to wearing the mask is they tell you to cover your nose and mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have seen so many people wearing masks with their mouth covered and their nose exposed. Yeah. Um, what's the point? Then when you ask them something, they pull the mask off of their ma- face to, to talk to you. Where is your common sense, people? Oh, my word. Hey, are y'all's brains that scrambled? Hey, we seen some masks at Kroger for uh, $8. Mm-hmm. One mask for $8, okay? I went to Harbor Freight and got 10 of them for 5 Was it? I think it was 4 or something. 4 or something? Yeah. Four ninety nine. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean... It's to me the mask. I don't think it's going to help anybody, but it will. If you're wearing a mask, you're protecting the other person. If you got it, and right. and and uh, if they're wearing a mask, they're protecting you. You know, but so uh, double the shot if you're both wearing one. Right. So I don't think any mask could really make a difference because it's you can get it through your eyes. Yeah. Seeing that, I, I don't get so. Uh, okay. So a mask can cut it down. On the likelihood of you getting it, but yeah, if you can get it through your eyes, that's a little scary. What are you supposed to do about that? Wear big old goggles or something all day? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, please. I mean, seriously, you really should wear a mask. If it's mandatory, wear one. You're not going to die from shopping with a mask on. Shop. Go to your car. Take it off. Go home. You know. Would that say that uh, taking your mask off in your car is like taking your bra off when you get home? Oh, uh, yeah, probably feels about that good. <laughs> I, uh, but it won't kill you to wear one if it, you know if it's mandatory. Do it, and no questions asked. I'm wearing mine for looks. You know, make other people feel better. Well, yeah. Plus the fact that we're both older, and you know we're more susceptible. I've got asthma. I'm more susceptible. I'm a woman, and they're saying now women are more susceptible to it. So there's plenty of reasons for me to be wearing one. Yeah. You know, and if for some reason I'm a carrier, but I don't actually get the symptoms, I could give it to somebody else if I don't wear one. And I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, what else we got there? We have, uh, beginning in August... Walmart is transferring, uh, transforming 160 of its store parking lots into a contact-free drive-in movie theater. Why? Because they're saying because all the movie theaters are closing down, they still want to give people something to do, so they're just going to make big old movie theaters in their parking lot. Oh. But it doesn't say where. It's just It says more information to come later. Uh, it says it will be available on walmartdrivein.com. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. So it'll tell you which Walmarts, where, all that fun stuff. Oh, don't forget. I didn't say it, but uh, don't forget that we're on live chat. If you want to say something, leave a comment uh, or whatever. Just go ahead and, and chat from uh, the page here and see down there toward the bottom or, you know, little ways down and uh, so yeah I'm on there uh, I, I didn't even think about it a while ago when we first started but we're going to be able to chat with you uh, for the next 15 minutes at 2.30 it'll be over with after we are done going live chat will be shut down but you can still leave comments you know afterwards if you're listening to it after the show uh, in archive so, okay, just wanted to get that out. Um, hey, we got a we got a geocache planted today. Yes, no, when was that? Monday? Let me tell you this real quick because I forgot. About this Walmart theater, it also says ahead of each screening, Walmart will make it easy for families to fill their picnic baskets by ordering their driving essentials online for curbside pickup on their way to the movie. All right. So they're they're well, really a, fancying it up there. That's better than a drive-in because he has to walk from the back row. Yeah. 
That's where I always parked anyway. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll get our geocache. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. So, um, what was it? We uh, submitted a form on uh, Sunday night at 9 o'clock. And Monday morning at 10.30, they approved it, and it's in our yard. We got a big old ammo can stuffed full. Actually, one, one, one guy that found it said that it was so full he couldn't hardly get the lid shut on it. So, yeah, we, it's a multicache, and it's really strange because the multicache is, uh, you know, the, the first stage usually tell you where the second stage is well we got it locked up so the kids in the neighborhood don't find it and take all the stuff out of it right but um the first one is a, the coordinates to the second one and it's only off by one number and you we got people walking all over the yard looking for that one number yeah they've walked quite a bit away it's away from it one started to walk over into the neighbor's yard and another one started walking down the, the street. <laughs> but they have found them, so oh, yeah. Yeah. they eventually get turned around and get it right. Yeah, so since Monday, this is uh, a Saturday. I see, so Monday, nothing happened Monday. I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Since Tuesday, the first one to find it. Right. Uh, five five uh, finds on it, five people. And they all gave a good uh, comment. Oh, real nice comments. About them. We, we met three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we met three of them. Of course, we could watch them, you know, out in the yard. And as soon as we see somebody going in the yard, we go down there and say, hey. <laughs> you ever feel like you're being watched? Here we are. <laughs> but they, they like that. Because mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people said that they like uh, caches that's on private property. And some people are afraid to go on a private property. Like me, I'm real leery about going onto somebody else's property because I'm always afraid that your coordinates might take us into the wrong yard and somebody's going to come out with well, you in my yard. You better get your GPS fixed then to protect you there. Well, you seen the one guy walked over into the neighbor's they yard. They started to. They yeah. didn't walk into it. They, they was, got real close. Yeah, they were headed But it can way. happen if they're like the one we had, the neighbors were in the duplex. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I am leery about going into people's yards, I'm not going to lie. And usually, if you walk into a yard that's only big enough to have a tree, and they see a birdhouse in it, you think, well, that's got to be it. Because that's the only place it could be. But it wasn't. Yeah. Well, <laughs> then, you thought it was a birdhouse. I, I see the other. <laughs> and then, in our yard, you know, we only got a tree and some bushes, um, a hedge around it. And, well, we did have a pile of sticks out there where they had cut down a shrub and all the wood and everything was rotted and stacked up there. And I thought, now this is going to be fun. I said, these are people going to come out here and see that wood and the first thing they're going to think is a suspicious pile of sticks. And most of them did. I was waiting for somebody to start unpiling all that and find out there wasn't nothing there. Well, there was one that was going to and then yeah. she seen us come yeah. out the door. Yeah, she was over there looking at <laughs> Bus, 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 uh, yeah. Specific pile of rocks. It's the same thing. Suspicious, not specific. Suspicious. suspicious. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it, it's spooky. Uh, we go, you would think that's where it is. If there's a pile of rocks piled up and nothing else around, you would think it's got to be under them rocks. So you unpile the rocks. And a lot of times, when it says specific, Best suspicious pile of rocks. <laughs> Get that out. Um, it's usually a rock container. <laughs> ah, yeah. I've seen that a time or two. Yeah. Now, see, you people that don't geocache to understand all this, get your little hineys out there and start geocaching. It's fun. Yeah. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, www.geocaching.com slash guide guide yeah I have a hard time getting that guide word out they tell you everything you need to know and you, you'll have questions you'll see your questions and you'll see your, the answers and it's just so fun woohoo Woo. 
Yeah. Oh, man. Well, we've we're bungled gonna... a lot today, haven't we, with our words? Yeah. <laughs> we, we're getting ready, <clears throat> getting ready to go next week to find one that I had to figure it out, you know, what the coordinates was on it by answering questions that they had, you know. Uh, and that was rough. I, every question, I had to look it up on on Google to find the answer. And I, and, they, and they got a little spell or a coordinates checker on there where you can put the coordinates in that you think is right. And if it's right, it'll tell you. And if it's wrong, you only get ten chances at it. Uh-oh. And then, well, if you don't if you don't get it all, uh, you can go back later and start over, and it'll give you ten chances again. But um, we're going to go to one uh, probably next week. It's going to be a. Um, um, Oh, what a, what was that? Um, let's see, that one was, was a, a puzzle cache. Yeah. <laughs> you got it now. Yeah, it's one of them where you, when you get there, you they got things to where uh, you uh, a- answer your questions by what they tell you to look for or whatever, and then you get your coordinates. Boy, I say it, it's nice, you know, to be able to just get out and go places now, or. Uh, before we moved, it was a little hard because the town was so small. We about got them all there. Yeah, it didn't take much to get all those. And, and it was all small micros and, you know, it, there wasn't nothing really big and exciting. Give me a big cash. Well, that one we found the other day, what was that, uh, the, about the wall or uh, the box? Think, think inside the box. Right. That was a, at a company, and uh, there was permission given to, to hide it there. And oh, that was awesome! It's it's got what ninety favorite points now. Mm-hmm. We had eighty eight that we got there. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that one. I'd never seen one like it before. Yeah, yeah, it was it was different. I tell you. Um. So anyway, what else got? That's all I got except for the joke of the week. Oh, no. We got a joke of the week again? Hey. What? That is our entire thing, joke of the week. Okay. All right. I'm Let's... not sure what this one's going to be. I'm just going to close my eyes and pick one. Oh, no. Okay. I closed my eyes. I picked one. Let's see what this one says. I recently picked a new primary care doctor. After two visits and exhaustive lab tests, he said I was doing fairly well for my age. A little concerned about that comment, I couldn't resist asking him, Do you think I'll live to be 80? He asked, Do you smoke tobacco, drink beer, wine, or hard liquor? Oh, no, I replied. I don't do drugs either. Then he asked, Would you eat ribeye steaks and barbecue ribs? I said, Not too much. My former doctor said all that red meat is unhealthy. Would you spend a lot of time in the sun, like playing golf, boating, sailing, hiking, bicycling? No, I don't, he said. He asked me, do you gamble, drive motorcycles, drive fast cars, have a lot of sex? No, I said. He looked at me and said, then why do you even give a shit? Okay. All right. (laughs) I guess if you don't do all that stuff, it just ain't why, worth it. Why huh? worry about it? Yeah. Oh boy. Wow. So that was my. I, I hope I live that long or longer, just so I can get done everything I was supposed to did when I was thirty. <laughs> and I got a lot of stuff on my list, and it's, and it's not a bucket list. It's that list that said I've never done and never will do. Oh man. Uh huh. My my bucket list. I scratched one off the other day. What was it? I can't remember. Oh, better write them down. I know. Yeah. Um, I I always wanted to jump out of an airplane in a parachute. And I always wanted to hand glide. And I, now I get dizzy just walking up the stairs. <laughs> there you go. I don't think, you know, and then I seen that one video of that old lady that she was like in her 80s. And she went skydiving. And, oh. and she... <laughs> She had her mouth open, and I guess the wind caught her and, and pulled her dentures out of her mouth. And they was able to f- focus in on them and, and take snaps out of her dentures floating down in the air. Just watching them flip <laughs> right on out of there. You know what? 
got dentures, you want to skydive, make sure you take them babies out first. If you got prosthetic leg, take it off. If you got eyelashes, take them off. It, you might well get one stuck in the eye. Oh, yeah. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. got hearing aids, take them out. Yep. That, you know, you got wig on, take it off. Hey, hey, just go skydiving. Right. <laughs> you know how you do this? You just go skydiving naked. Yeah, there you go. I wouldn't do it, but you know, somebody might. Well, by the time I say, if you got all these extra parts on you, by the time you get them off of there, you, it, you might not land, and the wind just keep carrying you off, you know, yeah, like that. Yeah, float like a bird. Through the air, you know? yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, anyway, that would be about it for the day, uh, for the week. Yeah. Yeah, for the week. For the week. Hope you enjoyed the show, and if you want to get a hold of us, I got it all in the notes there. Um, you can contact us by email at whatever topics at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to go to our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash whatever topics. Got a group page at the, uh, um, yeah, facebook.com slash groups slash whatever topics and if you want to be on the episode give us a call we'll uh, talk, tell you how all about how you can be on our episode there it's, uh, on a pre-recorded uh, no big deal you know if, if mess up we fix it uh, call us at uh, 419-544-4503 hey I remembered it good it's a new number now, see, you can edit their little thing, so leave the blunders to us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it fun. But anyway, and you don't have to worry about being live on radio or, you know, we, we'll, we'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it. <laughs> we'll fix it good. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, the only thing I can say, till next week. See, see ya. ya.